Good evening viewers, welcome to the Assam Tribune, you are watching Superfast and I am Monisha and here are the top 10 stories of the day. Three passengers sustained minor injuries when miscreants hurled stones at a night super bus in Chakhlabandha, Nogao. In the early hours of Sunday at 1.30 am, the targeted bus, operated by Trishul Travels and bearing registration number AS01QC8837, was en route from Johar to Guwahati when the attack occurred, leaving passengers shaken by the sudden violence. The Board of Secondary Education Assam has announced new guidelines for the High School Living Certificate examination scheduled for 2025. The key highlights of the new guidelines include four OMR sets, introduction of elective subjects, separate passing marks for MCQ and descriptive questions, district-level internal examination committee for practical examinations, flexible question patterns in language subjects, concept-based questions in science and mathematics and adaptation to NEP 2020 guidelines. Karim Ganj Congress demanded a repoll in 32 polling stations across the Lok Sabha constituency alleging that booths were captured by supporters and leaders of the ruling party during the day of the poll held on April 26 in the second phase of the general election. Congress candidate Hafiz Rashid Ahmed Chaudhary alleged large-scale rigging, boat capturing and intimidation of voters by goons in which which local BJP MLA Krishnan Dupal, Vijay Malakar and pro-BJP MLA Kamala Khede Purakasthaya were involved in the misdeeds. Union Home Minister Amit Shah is all set to visit Guwahati on April 29, 2024 ahead of the third phase of the Lok Sabha elections. As per sources, Shah will hold a roadshow in the city and will be campaigning for the BJP candidate from the Guwahati Lok Sabha constituency, Bijuli Kalita Medhi. It may be mentioned that the Kamrup Metro Metropolitan District Magistrate Sumit Saptawan issued an order announcing several roads in Kamrup Metropolitan District as no drones, no firecrackers and no fly zones. In a startling incident, posters representing Lord Ram were smeared with black ink under the cover of darkness in Shankarnagar locality Lal Ganesh Guwahati. The act reported on Sunday prompted protests among Sanatan Hindu army and other Hindu organizations. Isharani Barua of Assam continued her good show in the BWF Thomas and Uber Cup 2024 being held in Chengdu, China on April 28 in the defeated Singapore by 4-1 to confirm their quarter-final berth. Isharani defeated Insira Khan of Singapore by 21-13 and 21-16 in just 31 minutes, helping India climb the ladder. Tripura Congress MLA Sudip Rai Barman on Saturday demanded trash polls in West Tripura Parliamentary Constituency and Ramnagar Assembly Constituency, alleging that elections were rigged at 579 poll polling booths in the first phase of the elections. The MLA for the alleged innumerable voters were obstructed, refrained from voting and to and no police or election machinery was available to ensure that they too could exercise their franchise. In a significant move, another Khasi Students Union member has been arrested for allegedly being involved in the murder case of non-tribal youths in Ichamati and Dalla. This is the fourth arrest of KC members allegedly involved in the killings of two youths Ishan Singh and Sujit Datta on March 27. Former Lakhimpur Superintendent of Police Anand Mishra, who resigned last year, is set to file his nomination from the Baksal Lok Sabha constituency in Bihar as an independent candidate on May 7. Mishra confirmed the news about contesting from the Baksar Parliamentary constituency on the microblogging site X on Sunday. Five people have died and 33 have been injured in a tornado that struck Guangzhou in southern China. Guangzhou, a city of 19 million people in southern China, has been witnessing tornadoes at level 3 intensity, two below the highest level of 5. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast and thank you for joining us for more news and updates. Stay connected with us on social media. Tune in again at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.